Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this particular video, I'd like to discuss my thoughts on episode two of the anime series, Galilee Donna. And this was truly a captivating episode, I have to say, picking up quite literally where we left off, right at the end of episode one, with the Sky Pirates who brought the Ferrari family under attack, looking for an item they call Galileo's Inheritance, having been successfully chased off by Hozuki in her goldfish-style mecha ship, which is later dubbed the Galileo. And this is quite compelling because as soon as these Sky Pirates are chased away, the cops arrive on the scene, and the lead cop pulls a gun on the family. Now, Hozuki is not there to witness this. She goes back into the underground uh, sort of laboratory where, of course, she built this goldfish ship because she realizes the life of her pet goldfish is in danger. He's in shallow water. His bowl had broken. And as she's coming back to rejoin her family, she meets this woman called Anna Hendricks. Now, we saw this woman help save Hazuki, her older sister, the sort of, uh, you know, wanting to be litigator sister, in the bar in the previous episode. And she says, I saved your sister earlier. I'm going to save you now. Let me show you what I mean. And she takes Hozuki out to a window to see her entire family being, you know, with guns drawn on them, being taken into custody, being arrested against their will. And so there's this fairly ominous sequence where they're all in prison cells. The father is in his own, the mother is in her own, and the two sisters are in their own. And of course, you have this. I don't know if he's a gang syndicate member or what, but he comes in and he has the mother released so that she can be questioned by somebody who's fairly, you know, ominous and nefarious in his own means in a sort of office building setting that may or may not be affiliated with her you know, work or employment. But this guy then goes and talks to the father and he's basically asking him, does he know anything about the inheritance? And it's very intriguing once we find out through Anna Hendricks' words to Hozuki that she is a Galileo aficionado. She's basically uncovered all of this stuff about a secret dialogue Galileo had with a writer philosopher that led her to these sketches, of which there are six, and each of the six contains clues to a mysterious, possibly fictional seven which they all believe to be the inheritance that everyone is seeking. And when I say everyone, I mean we have not only sky pirates, not only, uh, you know, the police force, but apparently this whole gang syndicate or whatever it is, they're all intrigued. They all want to know what this is because it is said to be and it is basically theorized to be something much greater than anyone has ever anticipated, whether that means to the annals of science or of wealth or what have you, remains to be seen. But essentially... Anna tells Huzuki, you know, there's only one person that can save your family from what's going on, and that's you. You have the skills, you built this ship, you can go in and you can break them out of prison and save them. And of course, they do this in a very just spectacular way. Apparently this ship has its own sort of mecha suit that she can walk around in and, you know, combat the cops as they're firing at her weapons. And uh, there's this cute little scene as the two sisters, Hazuki and Kazuki respectively, are in the cell and Hazuki wants candy, which she knows Kazuki always has on her person, but she denies having any. And then there's this cute little payoff once they are saved where she gives a piece to Hazuki as a thank you and says, don't let Hazuki see it. But in any case, you know, she does manage to sneak them out of the prison, and there's this really cool switcheroo where uh, Hozuki has gotten out of this pilot suit that she's using, and the father has traded places with her. And we don't know, you know, if the father comes out of this alive entirely. Uh, they kind of ended it with a question mark as he has a missile launcher fired at him by this main syndicate guy. And how awesome was it, by the way, that essentially Kazuki, who is like a karate expert, takes out this main cop dude for flips them over and knocks them out so they can get out of there. It was just awesome. But what did not end with a question mark is once they get back aboard this goldfish ship called the Galileo now, Anna says, you know, she saved Hazuki, but suddenly they're seeing each other and they're like, who are you? They, they don't seem to know who each other is. And Hazuki is shocked by this. And what is even more shocking, just before the end credits roll, we find out that the mother is dead, whether a self-inflicted gunshot wound or she was shot because she wouldn't answer what the inheritance is. 
remains to be seen, but it just, the lives of these girls has been turned on its ear, and as the father says, find this inheritance, find out what this is, so that we can get out from under the shadow of Galileo once and for all. Truly compelling, truly just action-packed and mesmerizing was this episode. I hope more people will get into this series if they're not watching it already, because I can't wait to see where this story goes. And otherwise, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of episode 2 of Galilee Donna, if you did see it. If not, I highly recommend you fit it into your slot of anime picks for this wave, and otherwise, that'll be it for me. So I hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you later. Peace.